There's been a lot of backlash against this proposed 50% quota for uh, Kannadigas, locals in private jobs in Karnataka. Uh, one of the oppositions has come from Mr. John Brittas. He's the Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament and the CPIM, a close advisor to the Kerala Chief Minister, Mr. Pranarai Vijayan. Thank you very much, Mr. Brittas, for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. You have responded to this proposal by the Karnataka government, calling it retrograde and regressive. Can you explain to our viewers why that's the case and why you believe so? Because the Karnataka government's contention is that every state government has to look out for its own people. See, when I say it is retrograde, regressive, and even reactionary, I say because it's a violation of the fundamental rights of citizens enshrined in the Constitution. You look at Article 14, you look at Article 19, 1G, you, are, you look at Article 15, you look at the verdicts of the Supreme Court. You cannot segregate a citizen. We say that basically we are Indians. Can you segregate citizens according to their domicile status or birth? That is one factor. Another facet of the issue is that, see, Bangalore is not built by Canadagas alone. Bangalore is, has emerged as an IT hub, maybe to the tune of... Uh, 250 billion US dollar. It's not merely because of the Canadigas. It's by people who must have come out of uh, outside there. Uh, Karnataka, from elsewhere, from Kerala. There are 50 lakh IT employees in Bangalore. See, as per the 200, took, uh, as per the last census, 2011 census, 40 to 43 percent of the people in Bangalore are not Canadigas. Suppose Somebody, a Malayali, would have learned Malayalam there and they are unable to speak and write Kendega. Can that person be denied? Because as per the uh, uh, draft bill that has been adopted by the cabinet, I understand one of the factors is that you need to uh, speak and write uh, Canada language. So you cannot make such discriminatory measures for employment in the country. And earlier, Karnataka, I think Haryana tried it. Andhra Pradesh tried it, even Jharkhand tried it. And we should read the verdict of the Punjab Haryana High Court. It clearly said it's against the constitutional morality. It's against the fundamental rights. So it's not merely giving employment to uh, Canada people, uh, but it's also to uphold the constitution. And further, I would say that when I say it is retrograde, it's against the people of Karnataka. This would provoke, I would say, flight of companies and also drive away investments from Bangalore and Karnataka. So is it going to help the Karnatakas in the long run or Karnataka in the long run? So this is the haphazard measure adopted by the Karnataka government, which I would expect them to scrap it. One of the, one of the reasons that they've put forth, and I'm not saying this is a justification, but the Karnataka government's contention is that there are many non kannadigas who come to Bangalore for economic reasons, for jobs, and obviously they've contributed to the growth of the city, but they don't make an effort, even after living in the city, settling in the city for 10, 15, 20 years, they don't even make an effort to learn the language. Uh, the same can be said, I guess, in Kerala as well, to some extent, where there are a lot of Bengalis, Odias, North Indians who come there, particularly in the lower level jobs. Uh, some Malayalis do complain that they don't try to make an effort to learn the local language. Do you buy that argument? Is there an argument at all, first of all? There are many Canadagas who do not speak uh, Canada, I mean, uh, Canada language. Can you say that they are not uh, from Karnataka? There are uh, uh, thousands of Canadagas who are settled in uh, Delhi, they may not be speaking Canadaga. So I think, see, we should not be whipping up passion, hysteria on the basis of language. We had some of soil arguments here. And these are all creating polarizations. And I would say this is another uh, facet of fundamentalism. Uh, when you, uh, when Congress is against uh, communal fundamentalism, this is another form of fundamentalism. And this is against the unity and integrity of this country. Think about a city like Bangalore. It's a beautiful city which has been built not by Canada gas alone, by everyone. You see the uh, uh, I mean, population of uh, Bangalore. Uh, 2011 it was 42 plus. Now it should be 50-50. So can you make such a distinction and deny people their uh, rightful uh, uh, I mean, employment, if at all they are eligible, they should be, uh, I mean, uh, uh, allowed to, I mean, serve the state. 
and further i would say that see the investment that comes to uh, bangalore are they from canadagas so they should say that here after only canadaga people will be investing in bangalore can they say that is there any uh, language uh, i mean color or uh, for the investment that is happening in bangalore so stupid arguments i would say that sort of absurd arguments and i would say this is a myopic uh, vision they have about the development of uh, a state or a city and uh, i would urge upon the congress friends to i mean see through that and i came across why did uh, siddaramaiah delete the uh, social post which he made a study he had said that 100% cnd yeah. employment would be reserved for canadagas why he had to delete that and there is, there are statements from ministers his colleagues who says that we are yet to have discussions with the stakeholders can you imagine a state cabinet adopting a draft bill without even having a discussion with the stakeholders so it itself shows that uh, this is not a thought thought out uh, process that they have adopted all right uh, john britas we'll leave it at that thank you very much for joining us here on cnn news 18 john britas senior rajya sabha member of parliament of the cpim and also a close advisor to the kerala chief minister uh, outlining why he believes that the move by the karnataka government to reserve potentially 50% jobs for locals is a retrograde and regressive step he says in the long term it will harm not just people of the neighboring states but more importantly it will harm local karnataka's themselves